Hey everybody, it's Mrs. C from the Fountaindale Public Library and I'm here today to tell you about a really cool book that I read a while ago by an author named Lewis Sacker. It's called Fuzzy Mud. It's a work of, um, uh, I, I keep doing this, realistic fiction. No, it's, it's science fiction, but um, low fantasy sometimes, realistic science fiction, I don't know. But that's kind of what it is to me. Um, it is um, the same author that wrote the book Holes, um, which I think was brilliant. And they uh, actually made a movie out of it that wasn't a disaster. I thought the movie was, was really well done. Um, so I super recommend uh, Lewis Sacker's other book Holes. And then absolutely watch the movie after you see, um, after you read the book. So uh, let's talk about this one, though, today. It's called Fuzzy Mud. Now, here's the premise of the story. First of all, uh, 180 pages. Piece of cake, right? You know, no big commitment there. Lexile 700. Um, most places I saw it being recommended for third to fifth grade. Again, I don't agree. I think it's um, really like fourth to eighth grade. Um, there's some stuff in there that might be a little scary. Uh, again, precocious third graders have at it. Um, it's a cautionary tale. It's about um, a fifth grader named Tamaya. It's, it's her voice telling the story. And she goes to school um, with a seventh grade boy, um, Marshall. And um, they go to a private school. And they've walked back and forth from school together since they were really little. Since, you know, second, third grade, when it, when it, when it didn't matter. Okay, But now that they're getting older, it's kind of awkward because, you know, She's a girl, he's a boy, and, and they're, they're kind of, you know, different in age, and you know, kids can tease and all that. So, but anyway, anyway, um, a new kid uh, comes to the school, and he's a bully, and he decides that he's going to target uh, Marshall. So, on the way, you know, after school, he says, you know, meet me out front, I'm going to beat you up or whatever, you know. And Marshall, in, in an attempt to avoid, you know, hooking up with this, this bully and having this, this, this confrontation, he says to Tamaya, yeah, we're taking a shortcut home today. And she's like, wait, what? You know, and she's not real pleased about it, but she, she doesn't disagree. She knows something's going on, but she doesn't know what, and she doesn't want to pry. So they decide to take a walk through um, the woods that would normally make it a lot quicker, but I guess it's a little bit much. There's a really cool map. You know, I always love the maps in, in, in the story. So there's their school. There would be the front. And I guess they take a path <clears throat> somewhere through these woods to get home. And so what happens is um, they get kind of lost on this way back. And um, uh, the bully, Chad, I think his name is, uh, ends up catching up to him. So a confrontation ensues and uh, Tamaya decides that she's going to pick up a handful of this weird-looking fuzzy mud that she sees and throws it at Chad right in the face to, to thwart his, his, you know, his attack. And, and she gets, you know, the, this, this stuff all over her hand, and then they, they take off because he's like, ah, you know, and he can't see and everything, so they get away. And when she gets home, she notices right away that she's kind of getting a rash, and it, it's tingly, and so she's, like, washing and washing. And um, the next day, you know, the rash is kind of spreading, and it's pink, and... The bully, Chad, doesn't show up for school. And as a matter of fact, it turns out that he's missing. The story alternates, um, not really chapters, but there's these little ex excerpts from Senate hearings that give you a lot of information of uh, what's kind of going on after this this microorganism is discovered because of Tamaya. Um, and um, I really like that technique because it kind of gives you this whole other uh, aspect of the story uh, that kind of follows along. And it also gives you um, some insight into um, exponential growth um, and how that works. Because if you pay attention to the math that they're showing you in the book, you'll see how something can go from one to a million pretty darn quick when it's tiny and it, and it, and it um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of, multiplies quickly. Um, I really think you'll like this. Um, it's uh, a really cool 
uh, ironically, I did not pick this book because of what's going on right now. Um, and when I was kind of like reviewing it and looking it over, I realized that it's really relevant um, thinking about the science in this story and what's kind of going on now with uh, with um, COVID-19 and what's what's happening. So um, I think you'll really enjoy it. Like I said, 180 pages. Uh, Lewis Sacker, whoops, I dropped it. Um, Lewis Sacker is, is fantastic. And check out some of his other stuff, including uh, Holes. Don't forget to watch the movie. It's fantastic. Um, and check out Fuzzy Mud. I think you'll really, really like it. And like I said, quick read. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for having me come over today. And I hope I see you at the library really soon. Bye-bye.